Mike with Gobles Mobile Detail. Back with another video. Today's video is a ceramic coating. All right, now I'm in the middle of the stage of uh, compounding it. Almost done. I got the whole Ferrari ready polished. It'll be a before and after video, but you can just see how shiny it is. It's not a light over this way. But I got this uh, passenger. I got the driver's side left. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what, how I get the steps of correcting it. Obviously polishing, I mean, there's not much to that. You already guys know how to basic polish. But how I'm gonna do it is, the first thing I do is, I hit the these light hit with three inch, which I got, a, I got the Rio's garage three inch. I did order a uh, root. All right, so I'm gonna show what I do. So I'll use three inches for the spots that my uh, five inch Roots 15 won't reach. I mean, I'm using a uh, microfiber from five inch. But to get the small areas, stuff like that, I'm using three inch. And uh, so I'm using just car compound and just car polishing. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, put a little bit on the pad. It's already been seized or primed already, as people call it. So what I do is pat it down a little bit, start off slow. I always fall slow, I'm spreading it out, and when I'm cutting, I go to about four and a half. Could just finish with the compound. Oh, excuse me. That's how good. Look at, look at that. Gosh, man. It's a beauty. Let me show you if I can see. A, look at the difference in. The, see if you can see the difference in the light. Then there, and we'll see if you can see the swirls when it comes in here. You can see the swirls different. It's all the swirls. But then come back over here. Bam, boy, that's good. So yeah, that's what I first, so I hit the, the three inch. That's, I mean, pretty much what you need when you do a paint correction, you'll, you'll need a three inch, and then, then you need a roots. Well, not a roots, but it's a five, five inch pad, you know what I mean, five inch, whatever. Not that roots. But usually for the three inch, I hit, I hit all this already, which I already hit. And I hit up around the wheel well. And I hit up here with the angles, with the, cause the roots five, I mean the 15 millimeter, it stops in so tight spots. I'll show you what I do. For the big part, I'll use the roots. Let me show you and do that. Let me blow this bad boy out. All right, I got the pine pad. I got the uh, pad prime, excuse me. And what I do when I clean it out, every pass, I blow it out. So I just. And that's how I clean it. Every pass, I just go ahead and do that so it don't fog up. So I get three little dots. One. Two, three. All right, and hit it. Now on this, I just slowly tap it on there again. I start off on one, spread it out. I spread it out. Like I said, when, you, when, you, when you're cutting and compounding, you always want to do a two by two, shorter width. You don't want to do big areas because you're not going to correct it. You just want to make more work on it for yourself. So when you're cutting, just do your shorter width, two by two. 
you guys see the swirls it's kind of hard for lighting and stuff like that but if you can see i mean it's just a big difference so all the swirls see all the swirl there you go so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and uh do a couple more little passes and i'm gonna finish the car out i still gotta polish it like i said and on the polishing i'm using I'm using a Roots 5 inch yellow pad. And like for cutting, I'm using Meguiar's microfiber for the 5 inch. And I'm using this uh, Lake Country, I think Mile Lake Country cutting pad 3 inch. I think that's the uh, Mile cut. And then I'm using the yellow right now because it had a couple deep scratches in it. So I went ahead and switched it off. So let me go ahead and uh, finish this out both panels with the uh, microfiber. Blow it out again. Alright. So when I'm, when I do paint correction, I'm, I'm compounding and uh, polishing. First thing I do is when I do the whole car, I'll go ahead and just compound the whole car. Then I'll go back and polish it. Because polishing don't take its time. You can do almost a little bit less than half a time of cutting it. Like I started since I started at nine o'clock today and right now it is I started at nine and right now it is 448 so I've been almost eight hours compound compound this car let me get the polish and show you that too though excuse me sorry guys so this is the just car micro this polish I'm using it's like a blue Pretty good stuff here. I'm gonna put make for you guys to see it. Excellent stuff. Just car, just a good, it's a good stuff, man. And then here's the ceramic coating I'm using. The ceramic coating. It comes with uh, so what it comes with it comes with this bottle of this, which you probably can get about three or four coats, depending on the size of the car. Two at the most. Probably about two. You can probably stretch it for three if you want. And you get the little uh, pad. And you get the little uh, what's it called? The little velvet little pad. I think they're velvet or something. Then you also get the reload. You put this on after you do the ceramic coating. It's almost like it's like a six month sealant. Has the SiO2 in it. This stuff's good alone. You can get this stuff and do it for your clients and stuff like that for the reload. It's a good protection. And they give you that with this thing. It's like on Amazon for, I think on Amazon for uh, $75, I think, for both of this. Get the, so yeah, that's the stuff. So that's the stuff I'm using on this car, which I'll do that tomorrow. Let me go ahead and hit this with this one more time, and then I'll be at the end of the video. Let me go ahead and compound this area. So I already did this section. I'm going to go this right bit with the five. And up here, I got to use three. So I want to spread it out. And when I'm cutting, about three and a half, four.
you're gonna wipe it down. You also can use some kind of lubrication, but this uh, can wipe it down the compound if you're using McGuire or something like that. But just car, it's easy wipe off. Wipes off real, real easy. Look good that looks. Now again, she's a beauty. So yeah, this is a California edition Ferrari. Ferrari. Alright guys, that's today's little short little video. And tomorrow I'll have another video upload, which will probably be Monday, Monday morning. It will be the full ceramic coating on how I apply it and everything like that. So yeah, remember, like and subscribe, hit the bell notification. Don't forget, hit the bell notification. And uh, so you can see when I upload the videos. I upload videos every every other day or every twice a day. I mean, every two days. So I just got the door panel to do. Let me show you. Not much light over here, but I'll see if you can you still can see it's a California Safari. I have a better better view when I'm... Uh, Yeah, exactly. I got it all compounded and good to go, man. It came out real good. All right, so now I'm finishing up on polishing it. I'm gonna do it the same way as I compounded. I'm using the three-inch pad, polishing pad. Sorry, excuse me. And the uh, Roops polishing pad, five-inch. I'm using, like I said earlier, I showed you just car, micro finishing. Not pad I've been prime. It's got this section to do, and up here it's done. show you the all right so see if you can see in the light something try to you see the shininess of it and it's done no swirls looks good all right guys so I got this Ferrari California T fully ceramic coated and paint corrected I'm going to show you Turned out real good. 